Hi, Anthony here from West Coast Custom Concrete, Bobcat Service, and Concrete Pumping. Today we'll be on a video on an S70 I just bought with a um, formerly known Teledyne that's now known as BTI Breakers. It's a 300-pound breaker. I just bought this setup. I've been on an equipment uh, buying rampage. I bought this setup, and I bought another Teledyne 550 for my case. And I'm buying a new dump trailer next week. I wanted to take this. I've been to this house a bunch of times. I, the other videos, I poured an RV ramp here, a sidewalk, and I did the whole backyard and pavers. And I already knew everything was overbuilt. I could have brought my big tracker tractor and blew this footing out. But I just bought this, so I wanted to take it on the worst case scenario and put it under pressure. The breaker and the bobcat, because I just bought it. And um, there is no breaker on the market like this BTI or Teledyne. There is nothing even close this footing from the top to the bottom of the footing was about three and a half feet it had rebar top and bottom and it had a block wall around the perimeter inside and this thing blew it out like as good as a mid-sized tractor with a 550 pound breaker probably so what i'm doing is i'm just methodically hitting it on the top and breaking it down and knocking the brick off so i could visually see it and i'm coming from an angle straight in at it too and then what i'll have to do is i'll have to put the bucket on load this out and put it in the street because my dump truck's on another job it's on its way but i want to keep moving so i'm going to break it down i'll load that put it in the street and i'll come in and take the dirt out because half of that circle we're going to pour back in concrete i brought javier with me we ended up not getting it done that day because this thing was more stubborn than i thought i knew everything at this property was overbuilt but this was the most overbuilt thing i hit on the property it was incredible very rarely will you hit concrete this hard that won't separate either. I couldn't get a crack in it to get it to move. Once you move it, you got it. But I couldn't move it, so I had to break it down from every angle. And this breaker performed above expectations. Wow. Uh, there's going to be a link down below. I bought it from Max from American Alliance. He has at least 20, 30 breakers on him at a time. Used breakers, Teledynes, BTIs, Kents. And he'll be down in the description with his phone number if you need a breaker i wouldn't buy it from anybody else here's the s70 i just got i was so happy this thing is absolutely flawless mint and uh, i'm buying a new trailer next week another dump trailer because this one the the bucket the breaker doesn't fit in the bucket so i have to load i have to back in spin around put the bucket down then get the breaker then back back in and then shut the doors it's not that big of a deal but i'm going to buy another trailer so i can carry both a couple of my tractors i have the different jobs so i gotta break it down load it dump it in the street break it down keep doing it i'll put the dirt in the back you'll see over there where i'm going to put it because i'm going to dig a pool here later so i can haul the dirt believe it or not that little footing that um ring that brick ring that i took out in the footing ended up being about five yards i brought a bobtail and it was a full load and what's nice with javier here he can run equipment too so if i leave or I'm sick of getting on it. I just put him on it. Or if my equipment's on a job, he's on it and I'm somewhere else. Because I took a couple of weeks off. I have a bunch of cool videos coming up um, in some multi, multi-million dollar neighborhoods. I just signed a huge foundation, room addition foundation and a stamp job in some of the most secluded areas in Southern California. I got big stamp jobs, um, um, foundations. So I got to dig the dirt out here too. So right where he has it lined out with that pipe back there, I'm going to be digging a um, pool. So I just dumped the dirt back there. There goes the best operator around. So I'm waiting on my bro Dennis to show up with the truck. So I'm just going to dig it down while I'm waiting and keep breaking on it because there's plenty of breaking. He's on another job loading up. So I'll get all the concrete out of my way so I don't pop the tire. I got some solid tires coming for this like I run on my other tractors. But they haven't, I haven't got them yet, so I don't want to wear these rubbers down. So I spin it in the street. I wheelie it so I don't burn the tires off. I'm just going to have these for an extra set or backup or something. So you got to come from the top, break it down. Then you got to come straight on like that, break and get through it. And then and then I'm just ripping the rebar. I'm hooking it, and I'm, bit, and I'm curling it, and I'm snapping it so I can keep going at it. I mean, this was like 5,000 PSI of concrete. I've rarely, rarely hit concrete that won't crack like this stuff wouldn't crack and all it was was a planter with a with a tree i ended up taking a root out, a stump in the middle of this thing so what i'm doing is i'm breaking the um 
the brick off the top so I can see what I have underneath and I'm hitting it on the top and I'm coming straight. You just got to keep methodically working it. It took me about four or five hours to demo this whole thing out and, and take the dirt out of the center there. Because you have to come from every angle from where I'm at, from inside the ring, from behind it. You have to get it from every which way you can. And then you got to load it up. But this way I can keep moving and have most of it broken down by the time he shows up. And I'll just reload it off the street. It'll just take me a minute or two. That's Eric helping out. That's a, my friend Eric. He's a homeowner. Like I said, I did an RV ramp here video, a sidewalk. The pavers I didn't get on video because I was on a different job. And Javier and the boys were up here. Because sometimes I won't contract and I just don't feel like doing it. So I'll just run a Bobcat service and go demo for... Um, other concrete contractors or like this job. I just come out here. I'll go pump for a week or two. That's about the beauty about what the way I've run my business. I have pumps and bobcats dumps or I contract or I do foundations. I can do whatever I want to do. I'm going to have a monopoly on it soon. I'm buying equipment left and right. I bought uh, this mini this week and two breakers. I haven't hit my new 550 yet on my case, but I will. I bought a buy a dump trailer next week. I almost bought a um, mini excavator, but the guy was about a thousand dollars off, and he didn't want to bargain. So I'm real particular about what I buy and what I use because I've used it all. And to have junky equipment doesn't pay off. It's going to cost you more in the long run. I don't drive. I don't run sloppy equipment or junk. And this uh, mini was fairly hard to find. I found it pretty quickly, but the breakers were a score. That's American Alliance right there. That's a sticker who I got it from. Plus, I'll have it in the description. He has breakers from 300 pounds to, I think, 12,500 for every size. But I'm going to keep building this business to the hilt where um, I can compete with the biggest companies around here if I want it with the crew I have, the equipment I have, the knowledge, the whole bit. I should have an A license. I'm getting an engineering license in the next three months. I should have it. Because I'm going to do a lot of street work and city curb and gutter and different stuff like that. I'm just going to blow it up to a different level. I really have no competition where I'm at and what I'm doing. I mean, zero to speak of, even on YouTube, if you want to go that far. If you just look at what I'm doing and other people are doing. But if you're looking for a breaker, this BTI, it's formerly known as Teledyne, is I've had I don't know how many different breakers I've used. and I've never hit one that good. So my bro Dennis showed up and I'm loading this up. And as you can see, if you buy the right equipment, you can load, you're, you're not pigeonholed to load a low boy or a trailer. That's a Bob five yard Bob till and I can easily load it. You, if you buy equipment, you're going to do it as a service or for yourself. Make sure you buy the right stuff. Buy something with ROPS, rollover protection. Don't buy these things that you stand on that it's almost like a lawnmower with a bucket. I mean, it's ridiculous. Buy the right stuff, use the right equipment, learn how to run it, and you, you're fail-proof. I can just get over the top. I really can't shake the bucket, so I just have to rock it back and forth, and it shakes down. And I don't want to spin in the street because I don't want to burn these tires off. I might sell them to my friend. I don't know yet, but I'm putting solids on it because I'm always demoing concrete, and you'll get so many flats and and stuff like that, so... And I'm still on this nightmare footing that just was never ending that wouldn't break apart. See how hard I'm on it? And I'm, I mean, I'm hammering the crap out of this that it won't crack. I've never seen concrete hold together that good. But I wanted to put this this uh, system I just bought under the heaviest load because normally I'm going to be in backyards demoing slabs and grading and taking dirt out of the backyard of concrete and then load it in my bigger tractor and loading the big 10 wheelers with it. So this was a good test for it. I mean, it was four or five hours of breaking. More than happy with it. There's a king there. So now we're pretty much wrapping it up, getting this up out of here. I didn't get to pour it that day. I thought I was going to, but. See, this, this little S70 has enough reach, so bobtails, dump trailers. Any of that stuff. If I could do an end dump off the curb, I would just back it up to the curb and do it off the curb. If I need a ramp, I'll put a little dirt there. I can load it with this. But the videos I have coming up are the stamp jobs I'm doing and the foundations, ocean view. 
are going to be just on a different level. It's going to show there's nobody close to me. I should have an excavator pretty soon. I'm going to do a, um, a lot of equipment videos and stuff, too, of what to get and what not to get. I'm getting a new dump trailer next week, so I'll do a video of the trailer I buy and what ton of axles and what I use and why. She had to come around the backside, try and get this thing out. It, from the bottom of the footing to the top of that brick was probably three and a half feet, which isn't that big of a deal, but how much rebar they tied top and bottom and then on top of it, um, they put a, a block wall around it on the on the perimeter on the inside and they grouted it and then they put a pour in place wall around that. It was just, and it was a pretty big stump in there too I, I hit, but it popped right out. It was dead, so it wasn't that big of a deal. So I don't want to spin on the on the street because you just burn your tires off. You just gradually wheel it around and land it. And you'll get longevity out of your tires. Otherwise, they, they just fries them right off. But I'm going to go with solids. It won't be quite as good a ride, but I'm always on concrete and rebar running over corners of concrete and stuff like that. So it's what I want to ride because run because I mainly run a demo company. I was going to foam fill these tires, but they they want to keep them for a week. So I'm just going to get some solids and maybe use these as backup or something. But this tractor, this whole setup ran really good. I'll go back to contracting in the next couple of weeks. I'll start back up. I got a garage foundation to do too. So here I am loading this up. See, I got to load this up. You got to back it in and then you have to spin inside there and then dump the bucket, spin back around, come out, get the breaker and then back back up. And I, I made a bar that goes across the back that I just set the bucket and the breaker on because all my other tractors, the breaker fits in the bucket. I just carry them together and I back in. I'm done. But this breaker is a little bit wider than the bucket. Thank you very much for watching the best in the West.